Hey guys, uh, this is Tyler, and uh, we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on uh, SQL injection, SQL map itself, and maybe a little bit of uh, cookie elevation. Um, we're going to be using uh, the Mutilde vulnerable website, which I'll show you in a bit, which is from ironkeek.com. And uh, let's let's get started. Um, a little bit, what how what's SQL injection uh, defined as? The SQL injection attack consists of insertion or injection of an SQL very, uh, via the input data from the client to the application. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's good. I don't really understand that half the time, and that's pretty simple. So, the best thing I've found here is to explain to you is a little comic strip. Um, take a second to read that, or hey, why don't I read it to you? I'll even do it in voices. Hi, this is your son's school. We're having some computer trouble. Oh dear, did he break something? In a way. Did you did you really name your son Robert Drop Table Students? Dash dash question mark. Oh yes, little Bobby Tables we call him. Well, we've lost this year's student records. I hope you're happy. And I hope you've learned to sanitize your database inputs. Alright, so basically um, uh, it, th how this works is it shows right here that it ends the query with a single quote and then starts a whole new SQL query uh, which is drop table students which actually made them lose their table students and all that fun stuff so from here let's do a little bit of SQL injection um, we're gonna go to our vulnerable website again irongeek.com um, and we're gonna go to the login form Right here we're going to test a little bit with uh, single quotes. Right here we can see that it's throwing an error and that it's selecting from the accounts table where the username column equals high and the password column equals nothing because we didn't put anything in there. Um, what we're going to do is do some quick HTML injection with uh, Firebug. Um, we're going to change password to text type and we're going to change the size to 80 and we're going to change the max length to 80. This is just so you can see what I'm doing. You don't have to do this if you're a pro or something. We're going to put in a single quote in the password and we're going to use an OR statement and we're going to say 1 equals 1 space dash dash space. Make sure you keep the space at the end. Um, what this is doing, we'll run it. Well, first we'll, s we'll talk about what it's doing. It's adding on to the end of the password field. Um, or 1 equals 1 which will always be true and then it's cycling us down to the first user so it's letting us log in no matter what um, and it's adding that in after the password you have to know a little bit about SQL clauses to understand exactly what it's doing um, so we're going to enter that and log in and look hey we're the admin we have full control we can do whatever we want that's cool Alright, so there's tons of different ways to do SQL injection, and I, I suggest you uh, get this uh, vulnerable website, install it yourself, and try out some fun things. This also has the top 10 things from cross-site scripting to, you know, anything on here. You can learn a lot a lot of uh, different things to do with Mutilde. Um, going back, let's do a little bit of uh, SQL map. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this login form, which is the page that was vulnerable before, and we're going to go back over. And make sure you browse to uh, pen test slash database slash SQL map. And this is using Backtrack 5 R3. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in Python slash SQL map dot py. And we're going to do a minus u for our URL. And then we're going to paste in our vulnerable page if my laptop stops going crazy for a second. And we're going to add on to the end, uh, we're going to try and find the current database that the page is using. So I'm going to put that in. And SQL map does its fun stuff. It tests for a couple different injection points. And it goes through to saying that we have our current database, which is named no wasp. So from here we're going to do a little bit of further information and we're going to type in 
we're going to now set our database as no wasp and we're going to also find uh, let's find uh, tables from here all I did was add dash dash tables to the end of it as you can see and it chose from database no wasp retrieved everything and put in a nice little table format for us to read so as we know from our uh, SQL syntax earlier that it was choosing from the accounts table so we're gonna try and find out a little bit more from that so we're gonna now change minus T and add accounts and we're gonna look for columns boom right there you can see that SQL is using the same get parameter and uh, injection technique and it used database no wasp and accounts and it found us everything oh looks like we got username and password so from here we're gonna add one more fun command which is minus C username password and we're going to actually choose the best command of all which is dump this is actually gonna allow us to dump everything that's in those columns um, it's going to ask you if you want to use like column names or exact column names. We're just going to choose exact column names. So, boom, we can see that username, text, password, all these fun stuff is being dumped right over from password username from table accounts and database no wasp. And right there we have our nice little table of every single person. Uh, let's, let's go give it a shot. We'll give it a try. Let's try and log in as John. So we put John and Monkey and we log in and boom we're logged in as John and he likes the smell of confunk and that's kind of gross. Um, so one f last final cool thing I'm going to show you is uh, a little bit of UID evaluation using cookies. Uh, we're going to create a new user, we're going to say his name is cool guy and his password is password because he's not very secure and uh, he is a very cool guy so we created that account and now we're gonna go back into login so I'm gonna show you guys what's actually happening when you if, if they're storing this as a cookie what's what's going down so we have this nice little add-on that you can get for Firefox called cookies manager plus uh, you can find that very easily through Google and we're gonna go quick login as cool guy and his password so we're liking this cool guy, he's a very cool guy. And these are the cookies that were generated. One called username, which we're not really, we can mess around with that, but right now we're going to show the UID one. And we're going to double click this and open it up. And we're going to change the UID, which is set as 20, to 1. And we're going to save it. And we're just going to go back to our site, reload, and boom, look now we're admin. Uh, that's pretty much it. Those are the uh, quick basics to uh, SQL injection, SQL map, and cookie elevation. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it.